Who in here ever has worked with a first-time buyer or will work with a first-time buyer? Yeah, it's a very target-rich environment. There's a lot of, you know, get the millennials out of the basements of their parents and get them to buy a piece of real estate. There's a lot of them out there. So, um, what's that? It's finding them. Right, it is. Let's just argue for a minute that you got a 25-year-old. That's probably not dark. I'm probably black. You got a 25-year-old uh, uh, person that you prospect somehow or another. And these stories are all over the place. You got a 25 year old kid, comes out of college with a degree from the school of lines, what have you, and he gets a job somewhere. Let's just argue that he's got a, a, a salary, starting salary of 50,000 bucks a year. Very, very possible. What's that? He's not out of school of lines. We'll be higher? Yeah, I do too, but I'm, one of my neighbors went there, he's a smart kid, and he's a good grade. But anyway, so 25 years old. And so they go, to, they go to work for this company, whatever, and, and for the first, you know, I've done this many times, but the first week is kind of orientation. They walk you through human resources and they talk about the company and the history and where are the, all those pictures of those people in the hallway and so on and so forth. And they get around to the benefits, medical, dental, vision, insurance, yada, yada, yada. And at some point, the HR person says, by the way, we have a company sponsored savings plan. How much would you like to contribute? And this, this young person, you know, I don't know, no idea. What do most people do? Okay? And she says, well, if you put in 6%, we match at 3%. You can put in 15, but we'll do that. And that's what most people do. So this candidate goes, okay, and there's a box on some form, and you go like this, and they check that box. And that's the sum total they spend toward retirement planning at that stage in their life. Well, let's do a little bit of math here. $50,000 times 6%. Who can tell me what that result is? Three thousand bucks, yeah. and what would the employer match be at three percent? Fifteen hundred. So this is what they're doing. And now, where does this newly admitted college graduate, age twenty-five, go live? <laughs> where? Street. Go rent, right? What yeah. do they pay? How much? Fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, does that sound okay? Yes. That's eighteen thousand bucks a year. So here's my question: What direction is this person going financially, forward or backward? Right. Yeah, they're, sp they're saving three thousand and spending eighteen thousand. They're going backward at a high rate of speed. So we tell this twenty-five-year-old, "Did you know this? Why don't you stop this? Give up the match. Take your three thousand." Add it to your eighteen thousand, seventeen fifty a month. Might that buy them something? P I T I. Yeah, might be a condo in Aurora, but it's better than giving a landlord eighteen grand. They don't know this is possible. It is. Now here's what here's what happens. I was in, when I was in the mortgage business. I did a lot of this with these young kids in Minnesota, where I'm from. They buy a little. Now this is a while ago. Okay, I graduated from the University of Minnesota with a dead sea was just getting sick. <laughs> you could buy a you know you could buy a little three bedroom, two bathroom brick rambler with a detached garage on a uh, you know shore shore view or something like that, shore view, yeah, shore view. You know, for eighty nine nine. I know you can't do that today, but nonetheless. So you get into a property and let's say that you rent out you get a three bedroom something or whatever, and just for argument's sake, you rent out the other two rooms at five hundred bucks. Times two is a thousand. That's twelve thousand dollars in rent. <coughs> you're using this money to buy it, and you're getting this for rent. Is the twelve thousand bigger or smaller than the fifteen hundred dollar employer match? Bigger by six times, seven times. So here's your employer match, and you own a house with depreciation, appreciation, mortgage deduction, bricks and mortar. Yeah. And then you move and you keep it. It's your first rental property. And you buy the next house. You buy the next house. You buy the next house. They don't know they can do this. We need to let them know that. And start selling them some real estate. 1,500 employer match versus 12,000 in rent from a couple of buddies who won't beat the place up. They just want a room and a bathroom, a place to park their car. Crazy. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Simple, very simple. Just gotta get it out, get the message out there. 